If you buy a fully assembled 3D printer, you'll probably get a power supply like this. It's in an enclosed case. Or the power supply is built right in the machine, so it's a lot safer. But if you get one of those low-cost kits, they'll probably send you one of these metal power supplies with the wires all exposed, and they don't always tell you the proper way to wire it, which is very important. Well, I want to talk about a few recommendations to make your 3D printer safer electrically on today's Filament Friday. Filament Friday is brought to you by the generous donations of my Patreon supporters. Please consider donating a dollar a month to keep Filament Friday going. These are two printer kits that I actually put together. One is the TiVo Tarantula that I paid $230 for on eBay. And I bought it just mainly for the parts because I wanted to build a bigger printer. But I ended up putting it together and it printed halfway decent. I, I was pretty happy with it. Uh, this is my Maker Front, which was donated to the channel many months ago. And it was a little tough to put together at first, but once I got this thing together, it's been a great printer. Prints really, really well. Now I'm, I'm in the process of making it even better with a few modifications, but it's been really reliable for the channel. Now these two came with two different cords, and it's really interesting. Both of them, there's room for improvement. The TiVo, and this is very common with a lot of printers out there, it came with a two-prong cord, which you really want a three-prong. It's two prongs and it comes with a blue and a brown wire and that's actually the European wire code uh, blue and brown I'll explain the US in a minute the uh, maker front came with a three prong cable which is what you want and it came with a color code green for the case ground but two black wires which it should have been color coded differently so that is a little bit of a drawback what you really want and you may require you to buy a separate cable for your printer is you want a three prong cord at least in the US with green white and black wires that's the proper color code so you can get this thing wired properly the color of these wires are very important the black wire in the US color code is the live wire or the hot lead this is where it's 110 volts outside the US this would be brown and 220 volts. The white wire in the US is your neutral and somewhere along the electrical system it's connected to an earth ground and they do that for any static buildup that's in the electrical system it gets discharged through that earth ground. This would be a blue wire outside the US. Then you have the green or ground wire and this is a case ground and this one goes to that little round metal prong on the three pin plug. This is there to connect the case of this power supply or if it's connected to a refrigerator or toaster the metal case is connected to that green wire so that way if there's ever a short of that black or brown wire inside this giving live power connected to this metal it'll go through that green wire to earth ground instead of going through you if you touch the metal. So on the power supply, it'll have three markings, an L, an N, and a ground symbol. The L is the live, and that's where the black or brown wire will go. N is the neutral, and that's where the white or blue wire will go. And then the ground symbol is where the green or green with a yellow stripe will go. And it's very important to get those right, because that ground actually connects to this metal case. So that way, this case is now connected to earth ground when you use that three-prong plug. If you connect only a two-prong plug, you don't have that connection to this, and this could potentially shock you if the wires were to short out and touch this metal. So it's, it's still pretty safe, but it's extra protection by having those three prongs. Now it goes a little further. If you have a two-prong plug like was on the TiVo here, it should have one wider than the other and that's because the wider plug at least in the US represents the neutral the one that's connected to earth ground so that way when you plug it in you're plugging in the proper way so in this particular case that would be got a brown and a blue because this is European the blue should be connected to the wider terminal on an AC plug. So at least at that point you've got some electrostatic charge protection. 
If you get them backwards, you're really messing up the system. And that's why you want one bigger than the other. But it's best to have the three prongs because then you get that grounded case. And that's where some people really mess up. They'll have a three prong like this and they'll either break that prong off so I can plug it into an old two prong system or they'll use one of these adapters. They'll plug it in and now it's three down to two. They've just disconnected their case ground. Now there is a little ground thing here that's supposed to screw into the case on the wall or the plug on the wall so you get a proper earth ground. But if that isn't connected, this thing is no, no longer has connection to the case. And now this case can actually shock you if a wire should ever short inside of it. Now many people take these power supplies and they'll 3D print a nice end, uh, end cap on it. So that way the wires are covered and protected. In fact, they'll even put a plug on the end of this thing so they can plug in a three prong cable. And that's a good idea. But it still leaves the rest of the box exposed. So you, you hope they have a three prong cable that's connected properly. And that's a very good step in the right direction. But I wanted to go further. So I took this, which I found on Thingiverse, and I modified it in Tinkercad so it was a full box. So it covered the power supply in all directions and then a second box to cover the other half. Now I have a fully enclosed power supply and I've got ventilation holes designed into it even on the end where the heat sink is and I got a switch and a plug with a fuse so this can mount right on the side of this and even if somehow that case ground gets disconnected I'm not going to touch it and get shocked. This is a very safe way to handle your power supply. Well, I'm not ready to release the .stl files for this yet. I got some vent holes I want to add to the side, maybe a little change to where the switch module mounts. So it's still a work in progress. So follow me on Thingiverse if you want to see it because I'll release it there first. Also, this is not a one size fits all. This fits nicely on this power supply, but the one that came with my TiVo is slightly bigger, so it fits tight. So you have to adjust it anyway. And as far as this switch module and all the calculations for the fuse, I'll cover that in a future video. I got a few things to work out myself. So subscribe to the channel if you don't want to miss this one, because that'll be a future video. So I hope that helps you to build a little bit safer 3D printer. If you like what I'm doing here, maybe check out some of my other videos over here. And if you want to help support the channel, click on Patreon. A dollar a month goes a long way. And 60% of the people who have been watching my channel over the last 60 days are non-subscribers. So please click on that logo and subscribe. It helps out a lot. I'll see you next time on Filament Friday.